Sometimes things happen without warning, and it can turn a calm day into chaos. That was the setting first responders and other agencies had to be ready for at the 2013 Pace Setter Training. The Pace Setter Training is a regional full-scale exercise that was conducted May 21st through the 23rd in over 51 venues and 65 jurisdictions participating with the goal of responding to a biological terrorist incident. Things need to happen and by the time police get here and you saw when it's an active shooter, things are happening right away, they're jumping right in on it. When fire arrives, there's already people laying on the ground. There needs to be a plan ahead of time and we need to know that we have the confidence in the police officers to have our backs when we go in and we need to rescue people and they need to know that they have the confidence in us that when we get there we know what we're going to do and how we're going to go into a building and search it and once we get that person we're going to have the ability to get them out and not put those police officers in, in jeopardy as well. Agencies involved in the exercise included Vancouver Police and Fire Departments, Public Health and the Clark County Sheriff's Office. The three-day event took place at Fort Vancouver. Multiple volunteers participated. There are a number of different roles. I got lucky and got one of the uh, uh, well, deceased, uh, <laughs> ended up being deceased, but I got one of the more colorful roles here, but there were uh, uh, dozens of volunteers here in, in different roles, and it uh, was a really an enjoyable experience. The exercise tested regional and local emergency response plans involving bioterrorism and mass fatalities with a number of casualties. In a situation like this, we just don't have that luxury to sit back and wait because it may be, we've seen some uh, uh, incidents in the past where they have a barricaded subject that could take 12 to 24 hours before they get this resolved. But we just can't wait that amount of time when you have injured people. So when we have an incident like this, an active shooter type incident that you've seen all across the country, uh, we're, we're practicing some techniques here that aren't in play every day. And those techniques include uh, sending in uh, a rescue team of firefighters with armed police officers. It was really interesting to see like, because I've gone on like right along with the police and I've also, my father's a firefighter so I get to see that perspective too. And it was really interesting to see them like work together and communicate together and how the police like, they weren't the only ones helping like catching the bad guy, they were also helping the victims, transporting the victims away from the the scenario and where the crime was taking place at. With the help of today's technology, all first responders will be able to see what worked and how to improve in the future. Only so many people can get to this training and it's one thing to go back to, the, to our stations and, and talk about what we did, uh, but to be able to have something put together in a package where we can talk about what we did and then show them what we did and show them how each day has been a little bit different and why it was different. 